This video is sponsored by the brand new JV Jiu Jitsu online store at jvjujitsu.bigcartel.com. What's going on everybody? This is Javi Vasquez. The bottom of the mount is one of the most vulnerable and embarrassing positions that you could be in during a fight. The top opponent's position gives them multiple advantages. One of the most feared advantages is that the top opponent has the ability to punch downward with power with the bottom opponent not being able to back up due to the ground being behind them. Strike Base Jiu Jitsu addresses this disadvantageous position with a systematic approach to defending strikes as well as escaping this incredibly vulnerable position. Base disruption is one of the key tools to control a top opponent as well as bring them close enough to you to grab them and ultimately escape. I hope you enjoyed this content and as always, thank you for watching. So let's break this down as best as I can. First of all, him sliding his knees up is bad. So I want his knees down there. It allows me a little bit more ability to bump, bump ability. Now my elbows are the frames, the blocks in front of the wheel so they don't roll down the hill. I can't let my elbows go inside because now I have no control of his, of his knees. If I use my elbows like this, he can beat me on the inside, yep, or he can beat me on the outside. It's too much of a point. The elbow is too much of a point for you to be simply using this to take control. So what I do is I frame outward. I keep my elbows in, but then I frame outward. Now, when I raise my hips, because the knees are locked, it brings his hands to the ground. This, in and of itself, will be a major battle. The rule is, bring their hands to the ground, keep their hands on the ground. But it seems that is a lot easier said than done. If I try to grab him, he will use his hands to stop me. If I try to come up here, he's going to push me down. So it is easier for me to bring his hands to me first. Now, whether I frame like this and raise my hips, or I just simply find the valley between his cheeks and bump his over. You have to be comfortable in this range. If I'm framing down, what's protecting my face? Are they? No. I'm framing. So the frame must be a little bit higher, and my hands are in front of the face. So if I'm not dealing with any sort of strikes, I can frame low and get kind of like maximum leverage. If he can hit me, my hands have to come up. My head also has to come up. And I'm going to bring my hands in front of my face. That way, if he tries to throw a straight punch, he's going to run into my hand. So it is more likely that he throws a hooking punch, which are easier to stop than straight punches. So in order to stop him from hitting me, I must bring his hands to the ground. Now, if he's not using strikes, 
I can just frame low. low. If he is using strikes, I climb my hands up higher, I bring my hands in front of my face, and I have option A of the bump with the hip, and option B the bump with the knee. Simple enough? Can we go work this? That's it. <laughs> Things are gonna get hairy here in a minute. Question. Go. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.